Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I am back at my sister's place out west uh, and it has once again been a while since I've played so I had to check some things to make sure I knew what I was doing. Um, I'm pretty sure we're basically done out here. The only issue is, oh no, okay, we need to put the fake blood of Lethandir in that on the altar and then we can see what happens there. Um, because the fakes apparently work just as well. Um, because the gods aren't paying attention? I don't know. <laughs> um, but, we also, I did also, my friend said, where, where is it? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I need to turn my phone on silent. I downloaded a Zelda sound, or actually I made it myself, because I couldn't find it online, I just recorded it myself. Um, but... I was looking at the Nautiloid Crash region and I was like, meh, nah, nah, nah. I don't know this one. I was like, meh, nah, I don't care about that. And meh, nah, Night Song, I don't know. But Cold Struggles, Cold in the Dark, I don't know what a Night Song is. Um, but we do need to do something with the Book of Necromancy. And my friend did say that if you use what Guiding Bolt, where did it? Sacred Flame, do we have? I thought she had Guiding Bolt. Isn't that a thing that she just has? Hang on. I gotta find it. I'm, I, I thought Shadow Har had Guiding Bolt. There he is. I know this was from back when I was like a true paladin and I was like necromancy, but I was a nature paladin who uh, they really don't like necromancy. So uh, we're gonna have Shadow Heart break it. Necromancy. Put that on the ground. And we are going to. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Probably wise of you to get rid of that thing. Wait, right, I've been holding on to that. Oh, jeez. I've been holding on to that cursed. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I've been holding on to that cursed book forever, and this is apparently all I needed to do. Um, we are gonna. How much health do these guys have? It probably just destroys them right off the gate. Essentially. Um. Anyway, I figured something was gonna happen, but I got distracted by the fact that it actually worked. Uh, is she just gonna keep that? She's just gonna. She's just gonna keep that. That's cool. Can't afford to stay idle. Just making sure it didn't drop anything. Oh! I can read this now? Have I not have I read I don't remember if I've read this. I'm gonna read it now. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I think I read that, but not sure. Um, anyway, we desperately need... Oh, a nap. We desperately need it. Well, Shadowheart desperately needed a nap. Uh, anyway, crazy, crazy stuff. Alright, finally got rid of that dang nap book. Been haunting me forever. I, I have another character who's actually a necromancer with, with my, I play with my friend, and uh, he's definitely read it, and we actually got some sick rolls, and he was able to read, I think, the whole thing, essentially. Um, there's still something more to it. I don't know, but um, we're still in Act 1. But uh, I was able to read it as far as I could, at least. Which was pretty cool. But I've been wanting to break that book since the beginning, because I am a paladin. Time to press and a it. nature paladin on top of that, and I don't like necromancy. Um, actually, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm just going to waltz through, but... Alright, quick save. What do we, how do we quick save in this game? Alright. Um, if I have to fight a gazillion people on the way out, I might just not do that. Um, but I kind of have a feeling it's going to be empty. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Let's see, though. They are armored. Or by armored, I mean, yeah, okay. I don't want to, I don't want to fight my whole entire freaking way out of this. Maybe I can actually, like, sneak out? That would actually be kind of fun. I, I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it, but I think, realistically, if, if this was a D&D game and you couldn't just fast travel out, which I can do, uh, I, would try to, well, I would try to sneak out, even being a giant, massive, creaky, clanky paladin. Um, who do I got here? <laughs> the only reason I'm thinking this might work is if me. we can use... Pass without a trace... I'm gonna hope this gives me an additional level two spell slot for Shadowheart and will let us use Pass Without a Trace. Okay, excellent. 
I vaguely remember that there were potions that let you do stuff like that. Look at me using the potions. There was no way out as far as I could tell out here. And we want to go just out the front door. There's going to be guards 100%. Okay, the other option is to maybe misty step people around and cast invisibility on various people. I wonder, because I think mm. the misty step thing that she's got is from boots. I wonder if I could just pass her boots around. Uh, let me see. Well, at break, see, and I love, okay, also, oh, I, I totally spaced, but there were, there's an update, I got, I actually updated this as soon as I got here, but it's been like a week since I got back to my sister's place, but I got the Valentine's Day update, and I'm super excited about that, uh, because apparently they, like, I saw a really funny meme, and if I remember, I will put it up, because it was really, really funny, and I thought <laughs> it just was really great, um, but, they actually did um, put up a, a kissing update on Valentine's Day, so it, um, you get, there's new kissing scenes apparently, like more, it's like cutesy ones, and then there's apparently more intimate ones, and it's like, oh ho ho, you know? Oh my, but let me see. I know the other thing I'm really excited about is that you can talk to a teammate and dismiss, like a different teammate is on your team, dismiss somebody who's on your team instead of like hopping around, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to like go talk to somebody, tell them to leave, and then go pick up the next person. You can just talk to the person you want, dismiss the person you don't want while you're talking to the person you do want, and it's just, it's just, they simplified it, which is thank heavens, because that was just a nightmare. There's new idol animations in camp, and cutscenes will prioritize you as the main character, not a companion who manages to trigger it by being like too close or something, uh, which is something that I have um, like restarted a couple times for, because I'm like, I want to do the talking, you know? So that is nice. Those, those were my highlights anyway on the updates. I didn't read, I, I read most of them except for like uh, the nitpicky patch things. Um, I think that was my... Those were my personal highlights, <laughs> so so I'm excited for that. Anyway, let's focus. Ooh, I bet you. Oh, I think only Shadowheart has this Ready. one that you can use Unseen. as like a distraction, where you can cast. Yes, distract your enemies with an illusion. Oh, gall. Oh, don't oh boy. Why my eye is itching. Don't want to think about why my eye is itching. All right. Should mind my step. We are going to get as close as we can, and then I am going to attempt to cast the darkness. Oh, there's more of them than I thought. Dang it! I thought there was just one guy. Okay, yeah, there's so many there. Okay, new plan, new plan, new plan. We're gonna try to duplicity if I uh, the people at the back door. I think there's only three people there. There might actually be. Yeah, there's like five people in here too. Okay, so one of the other options is to potentially use, to like, the doorway, the dimension door spell. Uh, but we don't have that. Shh, I thought I turned my phone off. Um, what I do have is three instances of invisibility stuff. Um, I have two invisibility potions and one invisibility spell. Uh, and Shadowheart can Misty Step. So I may, I'm just, I, we're gonna, I'm gonna F5 on this and uh, we're gonna be drinking invisibility potions. Hoping that they work because I have not found them to work super often and I will, I guess, go into turn-based mode because then it's a little easier. So I'm invisible. Ready for so some I'm, I'm ham-handing it, is what I'm doing. Ham-handing it. I don't even need to do this. I could just fast travel out, to but concentrate. it'd be how it do, you know? Let's see. Ooh, we managed to hide successfully. <laughs> this is so ham handed <laughs> and I don't need to do this, but I'm having a great time. Uh, okay, that's all we can move for her. Dagger. 
Might it's Shadowheart, the one that I'm most worried about, but she has Pass Without a Trace, at least, so. A seeding. Like, of, of every, this is, this is, like, one of the reasons I gave the Potion of Invisibility to the, like, tanky people, because I'm like, Shadowheart can take care of herself. If nothing else, she can cast Invisibility on herself and get out, you know? Uh, if things if things don't go well, like it'll cancel pass without a trace, but that's kind of why I'm having everybody else move up. <laughs> She's the one in the back. Don't burn yourself. Oh my goodness gracious! Whisper mode. Whisper mode. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. They're passing. She's passing right behind them. <laughs> We should be in the clear now, but I know that they, like, sounds are a thing in this game. Like, they could, they could hear us just, like, booking it or something, you know? Alright. I ended the time mode so that we could all exit at the same time. As far as I remember, yeah, there weren't any gith outside. We are still invisible. So for Shadow Heart, so everybody, I guess it's fine, it's whatever. Um, but let's try to get out this way. Oh, I also did want to point out. Um, so uh, where is it? Where was it? Geek Yankee Warrior. We failed to extract the Mind Flare. Parasite met an enemy of Queen Flacketh, which is intense, honestly. Like I know that's probably like everybody's like preferred. Like yeah, I'm gonna take down the gods. But realistically speaking, like. You don't want to make an enemy of the gods. Like, that's a bad place to be in. So I feel, I feel like I may have made things harder for myself, but I'm, I, I don't want to, I don't want to give up the artifact. That's, that's, uh, there may be, there's probably going to be a game definitely where I'm like, okay, you know, or maybe like curiosity is the better of me and I do go into the artifact and stuff. But in this one, it's like, it doesn't make any sense really for me to give the artifact up because I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to turn into a mind flayer, you know? And maybe if we had, if I had stuck with the Zathix, they would have gotten the Parasite out. I don't know. It seemed bad, though. Like, it seemed really bad. So, we're, I'm interested to see how this all plays out. But, so, we do have that going for us. I was going to go over the stuff we have to do in the Shadow Curse Lands. But I'll do that when we're about to actually get in there. Moving ahead. Ooh, what? Oh, the Cobalt Looters. Yeah, I haven't done the Cobalts. I don't know. It feels weird to attack them while they're sleeping. I know somebody mentioned that, yeah, Cobalts are basically just evil like they're just not nice um but i don't know it, it feels weird to me to just attack them while they're passed out drunk what the fake blood of lathander didn't work i just tried to pick it back up this is what kept happening to me when I kept trying to throw, like, weapons on it. Oh. Well, that's what I thought was the right thing to do. Oh, I guess I need the real one. Alas. Well. Not much I can do about that as far as I know. <laughs> if someone does want to give, like, a spoiler-free hint on that, feel free. Um, I don't mind coming back necessarily for it, but I have not the slightest idea of how to get it out of there because I already, I think I've actually, I think I rotated through everybody and nobody could get it. So I don't have the real one. All right. Well, hopefully that part of the episode is pretty short. Um, right now, I guess we're going to hop back into the shadow cursed lands. Uh, so, this is, this is a quick review, you gotta rescue Wolverine from Moonrise Tower, rescue the Grand Duke from Moonrise Tower. Wolverine, though, the kin are, like, trying to commit, you know, genocide, potentially, uh, maybe not genocide, but at least a very, uh, targeted, uh, atomic bomb, Romeo and Juliet style, <laughs> uh, <laughs> event? <laughs> uh, we have to rescue all the tiefling not all but the ones that are still alive kill Raphael's old enemy but that's something that's like later game stuff oh i somebody they told me i'm pretty sure i have to do moonrise towers first and then Raphael's old enemy i'll double check on that though i'm not worried about that right now i'm gonna lift the shadow curse blah thaniel yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we did i think yeah we can wake him up now we can because we have something from his past that we found. Find Zevlar. He froze. 
punish the wicked from the man I wish I could date. Golly, he who was. Give me an updated kissing scene with that guy. Wake up. Yeah, Art Kale. Show the loot to Art. And we have to find Mole. She's probably at Moonrise, though, because she was taken with the, uh, the demons who wanted to go to Moonrise Towers. Alright, well, I am not gonna dilly-dally around. I'm gonna just go ahead and fast travel into the Shadow Cursed Lands. In the Shadowed Battlefield? Item received a backpack. Why why do I have a backpack? And why is it nighttime? I didn't ask to go to camp. I just wanted to go to the battlefield. Does somebody need to talk to me? Or maybe we have to because we are this is still What? cannot fast travel right now. Okay. Well, something's gonna be going down tonight, apparently. <laughs> uh, so trying to go back to the Shadowlands shoved me back into camp. Looks like we're done here. Pity. This place has been a wild ride. Ah. Uh? Like, done in the crash? Oh, maybe we need to talk to Lazel. Lazel's thing did say that she needed time to process things. So, that's good. Seems like a good moment to talk. The sooner we get out of this Gith Warren, the better. I'm like, hmm, yes, I'm yeah, I'm yes. Walking freely out of a Gith Yankee crash. A miracle if ever I've seen one. And trust me, I've seen quite a few. Mm-hmm. I'm just covered in blood. I haven't talked to Gail and Will in ages. How how are you guys? I gotta I gotta check in on Arabella because she's still with us. My first tour of a Githyanki crash. Memorable, to be certain, but the service left something to be desired. Uh-huh. All right, let's see. I guess I can take care of myself. I mean, I've gotten this far. All right. Well, I hope he's not leading you astray. I suppose not many can boast that they've been to a Gith Yankee crash and survived. Perhaps that's a good omen for our chances going forward, if you're feeling optimistic. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sure, let's talk about what's happening. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding you? Does it even need to be asked? What? We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person owing to you. Uh, turn to other men. Like, don't even say anything. I'm like, uh huh. What? What'd she do? What? What? I don't know what she just did. Anyway, that, that seemed a little fast. I feel like I haven't talked to her a lot. Oh, there's my buddy old pal. The constant reminder of my fallen nature. I have defied Flaketh. Unthinkable. <laughs> I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know she needs a minute, but still. Also, apparently, I think with the new update... Oh, okay, I'm not gonna... Because I didn't technically long rest. Oh! Look, I tried to sneak out! Supreme Kithrak. Has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? He's the dragon rider. I've not come to kill what? you, Izel. I've come to aid you. What? Don't trust him. Do, do we not have guards? Like watching, like you know. Skakakir gith shabeleth. My blade rests. 
Mother Gith compels you to. Oh, he's an Orpheus sympathizer, I bet. Oh my gosh. I knew something was gonna happen. But seriously, do we not have like did my dog not bark? Like that did, do we not have a watch set up? Like Um I I kinda want Lazelle to take the lead in something on on Gith things, but I realize it's not very main character, or capital MC of me, but I think I do feel like this is something where there's 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 layers here that Ilvadir is not gonna know, and that she feels like Lazelle would know. Although to be fair, Lazelle is also sort of in an emo like a heightened emotional state right now. But yes, let's have Lazelle take the lead. Speak, my ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazelle. Within it lies the seed of Vlacketh's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. <gasps> Vlacketh's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. Yeah, but you're not, because things are all woo. And I figured like, I'd still have kind of control over the situation in some ways. I think that's a very kind of paladin-y thing to say, yeah. A fool stumbles without cause. A hero serves a cause uh, without question. Ouch! I am neither oh, targeted. clear of heart, clear of mind, and bound by no master. Now, you must listen. The prism's tenant can put an end to Vlacketh's tyranny. They must be let loose. No, I need them in my head. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my That's people. a hard name to say. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlacketh's slaves no longer. You gotta give her more than that. I'm no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. I it knew extracts it! It memory and kills the infected. I knew it! Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness. You flood me with this... This heresy. I... I will hear no more of it. Okay, we are. I did give her the psionic uh, prism, or the psionic, uh, what is it, headband? And I gave her this sick sword. Um, this is your chance to earn Vlacketh. Listen, okay, so here's the thing. That's my thing, right? Is that, like, we've already defied Vlacketh. I get, like, it's not like she can't, she can't undo years of whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to say. Faith, brainwashing, whatever, you know? Uh, Blackest led you astray. I believe in so should you. But that doesn't really like. I don't know. The thing I think we should bring up is the Zathisk, right? Like he, like we knew the Zathisk was was bad. But I do kind of want to ask, who's the person inside the prism? I think I will. Uh, let me. Let me. I don't want to like lose the option to talk Lazelle down. But I really want to ask who's the person. Not that I think he'll give me an actual answer, but. If they have not said, they must have good reason. Of course. And I won't be the one to betray You can them. ask all the questions you want in this game, and nobody ever tells you anything. Like, that is, it gets frustrating over time. Like, that's like the Speaks with the Dead thing tells you almost nothing useful, you know? Asking people pointed questions never tells you anything. Like, it's like, <laughs> um, But still, I can't help but, you know, want to ask, I guess. But, what was I thinking? Um... I had a thought, and now it's gone, uh, about the person inside the artifact. I think for the most part, like, if they want to be let out, I'll maybe let them out, but, like, I'm not gonna just let them out if they don't want to be let out, I guess? Like, I don't know if this guy has the whole picture, you know? And I don't know if I should trust the artifact, but I'm kind of 
just kind of going in, I'm kind of in, like diving head first a little bit. I, I can't, can you dive head first a little bit? That's so oxymoron. Uh, he speaks true of the Zathus. You need to trust him. Woo! This is big. I served Flacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Bye bye. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together, we will be our people's light. He hasn't really brought up anything about Orpheus, though. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The <gasps> Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Ooh. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Oh, I was like, he's just, what is he gonna do, just stand there? They, okay, so they portaled in? How did Gale not notice? Gale? Ooh, ally with the boss against the gift, Yonky God Queen, good luck! Ooh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I kind of am, honestly. It would have been interesting. It would have been cool to see how it played out to like hand over the artifact or to see what happened when we went in there. Um, like to see if the if the guardian would like talk me out of it or something, you know? Like I really wanted to go in there and talk to them, but they didn't want me to. So I'm I'm intrigued to see how this will play out. Honestly, I'm very intrigued. Can I go to actual bed now? And oh no, oh, okay. Someone's uh, Lazelle probably wants to talk. Oh, oh, that's not the right thing. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> also, I don't get the benefit of a full rest on this, even though I'm in camp and I'm bummed out about it. So, oh, maybe I can. <gasps> okay, I could. I'll do that then. If I can. Vlakith cost seven crath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. <sighs> forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith. And be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Flakith. She has sinned against me. That's an interesting way to put it, especially because like these sound like almost like covenants, right? And like religiously speaking, a covenant is like a two-way street, right? Like you promise one thing to your faith. To deity, to a deity, or you know, an idea or something, and then it's supposed to like it, or who or whatever is supposed to like give you something in return, right? So she gave her all to these tenants to Vlacketh, but Vlacketh is not returning the price of that faith. You know what I mean? So this is interesting stuff, and like the I honestly, as a as a as an oathbreaker paladin, I think I'm uniquely. Um, in a position to take the uh, confession of a faith breaker, I guess, of, of one who is breaking their faith. That is a, it's a fascinating, just little tangent, I think, in my head. It matches very well. What does ascension entail exactly? Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. 
From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose. To train hard enough to slay a Gaeth and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. I mean, I think there's been a lot of things kind of adding up. It seems maybe kind of sudden for her to, like, be questioning her faith, like, right now. Like, like just because he said a couple things to her. But there have been things, and I think bringing up the Zaythus specifically was what she needed to remember. Like, the things were already kind of ski wampus, you know? Um... Boss called Vlacket the Tyrant, does this mean you agree? I never thought Vlacket the Tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlacket consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Gaeth, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. She's got a, uh, a system pretty well in place, it would appear, yeah. Because godhood seems to be a finicky thing in these games, right? Uh, attainable under certain circumstances, uh, some of which are very not nice. Uh, who's one of the prism, do you think? I don't know. Yep. I can't know, and that drives me mad. But Voss believes they are the seed of Vlacket's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Is there a god that's like locked away that I'm trying to th that I should be thinking of right now? Is there a little god in my pocket? And if Voss is wrong, and his if his claims are wrong, and Vlacketh's are real, then when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Let's move on. Yes, I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesses Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then. Be vigilant. Vlacket's eyes are upon us. We're gonna have to fight random Githyanki now, aren't we? Great. Well, I am going to attempt. Oh, dang it. I didn't get to use any supplies. We really could have used the spell slots. Ooh, did I get it for free? Oh no, I bet you it get that backpack I got was for this purpose. So I long rested. There is work. Yeah, do. so I technically long rested and the game just gave me a backpack a for it because it shoved me in the camp well, without me in it. doing it myself. Oh, okay. That's so nice of you, game. Thank you. Um Anyway, that was fun. The sneaking out was unnecessary but fun. <laughs> and uh Figuring out that I was being shoved into some lore was an interesting feeling. And now, yeah. Apparently this guy, I mean, I think we get, he still probably isn't like the nicest to like Gake. Or not Gake, Gake, well, Ishtik. Ishtik is the uh, foreigner, essentially, non-Gith. Um, look at these two nerds. Yeah, I didn't, I was like, oh, is he reading the book? Of, in one of my games, we gave the Book of Fae to Asterion. Um, and he's enjoying that. Little troublemaker. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, including my Acorn tier patrons. So thank you, Fane. <laughs> Not Fane. Fane, thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel, and who I cannot thank enough, truly, for all your support and comments and everything. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.